Welcome back. Thank you for joining us for the Empath Sisters. And I'm Bev. I'm Shelly. And last episode, we talked about low and high bright vibrational energies. And uh, today we are going to talk about protection and about how yeah. to protect ourselves from like not just low and high vibrational energies, but just in general. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, protection is like, I think, essential. Um, the way I would, um, you know, explain it to any of my clients or students or anything like that is if you think about um, you know, clothing that we have to wear when, our, when we don't have clothing on, our bodies are naked. And um, so we dress ourselves uh, based on the environment we're going to go out into. And um, so if you think about it that way, I want you to like think about putting clothing on your auric field. Um, and most people um, maybe don't know that in our auric field, we have seven layers within our auric field. So if, you, if you've heard of the term auras, um, this is what I'm referring to. And in within our aura, we have seven layers. And each of these layers are connected to each of our chakras. Mm -hmm. So this is also something that we're, we pick up on and that we're reading. And that's kind of how, you know, I could tune into somebody or, and you just kind of get those feelings off of somebody else that you can tell, like, maybe they're sad or, you know, maybe they're just really happy. These are things that we pick up on and that we're reading within our auric field. Mm -hmm. And so if you think about our auric field, this is like, that's the inside of us. That is us completely. And so if you think about, we need to put clothing on to go out into the environment, whatever that is, whether we're going to work, school, um, we're, you know, hanging around family, we put on clothing that we like to wear to protect our bodies. So protection for our aura is so important. It protects us and protects our energy as well. So you think about putting protection on the outside of our body. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did yeah, you hear that? I did. Yeah. yeah, of course. Sorry, you guys, if you did not know. hear that or, or, or did, uh, but we do have a little bit of like frequency there. So spirit just decided to say hello. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what is going on right now? It's so loud. Um, I I you all heard it too. That was really cool. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so it's just about putting protection around your auric field. So this is why sometimes when we are, you know, if we're empaths or if we're really sensitive to other people's, you know, feelings or, <clears throat> you know, emotions or depending on what kind of, you know, job that you have, maybe you're a nurse or a mm -hmm. therapist, things like that. Um, you can just feel other people's stuff. And sometimes we take that on as well right. and um, we can carry it, we can absorb it, all of those things, which are good for us. So a good way to protect yourself from doing that is by putting um, a layer of protection around your auric field. Right. So um, Shelly, do you do um, some protection for yourself? I do. Um, I normally like uh, I, I what I usually do first is definitely ground mm -hmm. myself before I, you know, leave the home. But um, right. if I were just to just quickly like protect myself from any other person's energy or, you know, just like that, um, that saying like, you know, your bubble, right? And so for right. me, that's how I kind of relate it to. Like um, I picture uh, putting a white bubble around my auric field or okay. I, you know, start, by imagining it because I'm a visual person and some people aren't and, and I am but I can actually picture the white bubble of light coming from the top of my head so I basically just say you know I create this bubble of white light uh, mm -hmm. above my crown chakra and I just I can actually just visualize it like pouring around uh, my okay. um, aura and then I kind of make it so that they go through each chakra just because that's just how I resonate with it. Not right. everybody does, but I, right. I do. I will say like, um, it's going through my crown, my third eye, my throat, my heart, you know, and so forth. And then I get to the very bottom of my feet and I literally picture myself in a bubble, like floating, like even like when, you know, kids are little and they're playing with bubbles and they're blowing them. I literally mm -hmm. picture myself in that bubble. And okay. um, it's, I say it's the brightest white light. And then I bring in, I work with angels 
And so I always bring in Archangel Michael. I actually call him. Um, I call him three times. And then I mm-hmm. tell him to give me extra protection around that bubble of white light that I had just created around my auric field and ask nice. him to just place his sword, you know, uh, on the north, south, east, west, above and below. And so it is. And that's how I do my own protection when I go out so that okay. I'm not absorbing anybody else's energy. I will mm-hmm. have to say... <laughs> There are lots of times where I do forget to do that. (laughs) And I do go out and I'm just so, you know, like running around or whatever and talking with people. And then the next thing I know, I I immediately notice a difference in shift in my in my um, energy, really. And uh, then I it's almost like a little click or a reminder, like, Shelly, you forgot to protect yourself. So then I have to you know do the whole like get rid of claim my own energy back type thing and and all that so yeah, yeah. so that's what I do uh what do you do Beth awesome um I do pretty much similar I've practiced um I guess trying different ways of mm-hmm. putting protection around myself just to see you know what really resonated with me right. and where I felt like I got the most protection mm-hmm. um and that I would encourage to anybody as well as to play with different methods just to see what works you'll find a way that works for you um and for myself um i do a lot of highway driving and so there's you know some vehicles newer vehicles that are out there that have really bright bright headlights and they're so bright and i'm always like ah just it just is blinding and that's literally what i envision white light because i am also um i I also visualize a lot. And so for me, I close my eyes and I visualize driving on the highway and seeing that bright, bright white light. And then I basically almost as if I, like I take that light and then I'll draw it all the way around my auric field. And that's what works for me. I've tried many different ways of protecting myself and that I find to be the best one. It it comes Mm -hmm. instantly to me and it is so bright that I just like, it's almost like you have to go like this and that's what I want around my auric field is something that is so bright. Right. Yes. <laughs> I feel I, like I, agree. I just want to ward off everything I possibly yeah. can. Yeah. So that's why I use that one. Um, I do suggest to, you know, clients or students as well, you know, when they are playing with protection, just to try different ways. Like you'll find your way of doing it as well and what works for you. So I always, you know, would say to them, try it over a week, you know. I've had clients or students that have reported, you know, they've tried uh, some people envision like a bubble, like if they close their eyes and they picture a bubble in front of them, um, sometimes they'll envision themselves being in the bubble. Some people actually need to physically walk and step into the bubble and that's what works for them. Um, Sometimes it's envisioning just standing there and creating this bubble around your auric field. Mm -hmm. Um, You can place different colors around your auric field. It doesn't have to just be white light. You can choose a different color as well that you would like to put around your aura. Um, I know another lady who she said that she envisioned, like she thinks about golden gates of heaven. And so she'll take the golden gates, she said, and she just you know, kind of puts a gate all around her Mm -hmm. and um, just protecting herself that way. Uh, Mm -hmm. I know another amazing gal who she is, um, she says rainbow shield. And that's what works for her because she thinks about her chakras and how she's protecting her chakras because that's her, that's her inside and she doesn't want anyone to affect her. And so she'll just rainbow shield and that's what she envisions. And I just, I love it. Yeah. And um, actually, you made me think of a a client that I know who loves to do like a cloak and they actually pretend putting a cloak over and they put it over. And like I've done that, too. And I do it sometimes when I'm like not thinking about it or if I'm, you know, in a rush or whatever. But yeah, like they'll put a cloak over and the hood just kind of goes over their third eye. And so they're just exposing their, you know, their their natural eyes yes. and uh and and face but um uh another thing too i like to mm-hmm. do as well as not just uh with the white light as well is i actually wear stones um mm-hmm. i carry stones on me as well and i find yep. different stones it depends on you and how you relate to that stone 
but um, uh, for the most of part for protection is usually a lot of people wear black tourmaline um, mm -hmm. and I wear that and uh, I always find that that gives me just an, an, an extra oomph of protection as well mm -hmm. um, when right. I go out so that is another thing that lots of people can do and Oh, if boy. that might resonate with you, right? And I oh, love sure. that rainbow one. I might have to try that. <laughs> yeah, she's just rainbow shields. It's just awesome. That's I, so cool. I, when I heard that, I was like, oh, I love it. I love it yeah, so much. I love that too. Uh, it's it's a, another great method. And um, I've also heard about, you know, envisioning like a spotlight above your crown, yes. just above your head and thinking that there's like a lamp post and a light over your head and then just envisioning white light pouring over you or shining mm -hmm. over you. Um, sometimes in guided meditation, I'll suggest, you know, um, that, you know, they picture this spotlight over their head and just envisioning it melting and just feeling like warmth from that light oh, and then yeah. just feel it um, melting. And I'll, I'll, I'll even tell them I feel it melting over like their forehead and over the eyes and over their ears and over the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And then that way you're just kind of, if you're a feeler, that might be something right. that will work as well, feeling it over the body. Yeah. Um, so that's been another one that I've suggested to, you know, others as well to try. And I always just say, you know, try all of these if you want, mm -hmm. try different ones and yeah. go through a week and see, and then don't protect yourself. And you'll start to really notice or feel yeah. when you are and when mm -hmm. you aren't, um, yeah. because that's... <laughs> That's how you'll know um, yeah. that it, so it, and it's just to think about it as like putting on a raincoat when it's raining on your, on your body, right? We're just putting on a windbreaker if we need it, or, mm -hmm. you know, we put shorts on because it's warm. And so, you know, depending on what your environment is, just putting that protection on is just, it's just helpful. It's just an extra yeah. layer of protection for yourself. Like we got to think about energy is everything. Energy is yeah. everywhere. And so everything is energy. So you yeah. can pick up anything and, uh, but that's that's why it's important to protect yourself. And, and totally. I wanted to also say was that, you, what like even Bev said, you're going to notice like if you don't do it. And it's true mm -hmm. because you are going to notice like let's say, for example, you are in a very good mood and you leave the house and you're just so happy and, uh, you know, and you let's say go to the mall or well, you can't really go to the malls too much anymore. But anyway, you know what I mean? You go shopping or something and uh, you happen to just not even talk to somebody. You can just yeah. brush by somebody. Well, again, sorry, with social distancing, you probably wouldn't. But still, our org <laughs> field is pretty big. We still yeah. can get somebody else's energy. But anyway, you're, if you're mm -hmm. passing by somebody, you can actually absorb their energy. And then you're going to notice like something happened to you. You're going to be like either sad or you're going to be like pissed off, like yeah. <laughs> you can, or yeah. you'll be like thinking of a thought that you're like, what? Like, why am I feeling like this? You're okay. going to know that that is not yours because you knew you left the house earlier in a good mood. So you right. knew that you forgot to protect yourself and that you have absorbed that person's energy. And yeah, so sure. that's when you will know, like if you wanted to have an example per se. Yeah, for sure. On that. Yeah. Well, it's, a, yeah. it's just planting the seed and just bringing mm -hmm. that awareness that that's, yeah. it just takes one, we create this energetic kind of cord um, every time that we go out, every time we're going to Costco yeah. or we're going to other places in the public, um, we're going to work, whether you, you know, deal with the public as well, or coworkers, there's just always people around you. Yeah. Um, we can tune into that and you just think that's just one person. And then there can be multiple people after that as well. Right. Um, and so then it's just, you know, you're, you, you kind of notice like, well, I was feeling totally fine. Like, I don't know why, like, I feel so moody. You just, what I always say is when you feel, when you start to notice that you don't really feel like yourself, yeah. that is a good indication that you are carrying other people's energies and that you need to just clear those away, which of course I think that would probably be another topic that we could talk about is, yeah. is clearing and how to maintain um, your energy and your auric field right. as well. So yeah. um, another crystal that I use for protection for myself is a clear crystal quartz. Mm. That's one that I've gotten from the very beginning that I use. Um, it reminds me of white light. It's known for peer protection as well. So that's another great crystal there are a bunch of crystals yes. that are used that 
actually have both. They can be used for grounding and protection, which right. is awesome. So there's yes. so many of those, which when we talk about grounding, um, we can definitely share some of yeah. those with you as well. So that if you do go out and about, then in, maybe you're looking for something like that to help you as well. So, That's but right. yeah, clear crystal quartz is one of my favorites as yeah. well for, for, for protection. Sure. Oh, yeah. and selenite wands. I was just going to say wands. selenite. Yeah. <laughs> that selenite was the next is... thing I was going to say. My favorite is selenite as well. <laughs> yeah, selenite is so awesome. And I have one just right here, actually. And um, so it kind of looks like this. And um, you can also use it to cleanse your auric field as well. So you can That's just right. draw it and just pull it through your yeah. auric field. So this is another one of my absolute favorites. I have them everywhere. Uh, yeah, literally. You don't even want to know how much I have. <laughs> <laughs> I just showed everybody all the rooms you would see. I have them everywhere. I yeah. love selenite. It's, yeah, and, me and too. I would say I didn't as much before, but in this last year or so, especially 2021, mm -hmm. I've really, really been drawn to selenite. I just Same. want more and more of it and more and more and just everywhere, everywhere. And just, yeah. I can't, it's like, I can't get enough of selenite. I know. Uh, it's almost yeah. like an addiction. Uh -huh. <laughs> just yeah. Selenite. Like I, I just bought a bunch of selenite from oh. a friend and, um, yes. I, I can I see them over there and I can count. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just in this room <laughs> of selenite. So yeah. yeah, I love it. It's a it's a great one. It does so much for everything. And just like Claire Clark's, yeah. uh, the only thing that difference is selenite. You can actually cleanse with that with your stones. So yeah. uh, which again how can you not yeah. love selenite like it does oh, everything right it's so yeah amazing it is it's a great stone and oh my gosh i don't know i really highly recommend if you were to go and even like get some selenite or even touch it you are going mm -hmm. to feel the highest vibration from that stone yes. and if you don't oh my gosh i don't know but <laughs> yeah. i'm telling you the 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 just the frequency in that stone is amazing. Yes. It, it yes. is. It's one of my it's favorites. It's very high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very yeah. high. It's one of my favorites too. I'm just like, yeah. oh. And as soon as I, you know, come near them, I can just feel, feel it. For me, I, I can feel it's almost like radiating energy yeah. off of the crystal. It's amazing. I remember. Absolutely one of my favorites. I remember, I think it was with you. I think, well, yeah. I mean, we've always gone to crystal shops together and yeah, stuff, but I remember, I think it was a few years back and you know, my first time holding a selenite, I remember it. Yeah. Like yeah. I remember holding it in my hand yeah. and it, it literally r radiated all the way up my arm and into like my body. And I was like, geez. And I felt like I was like, <laughs> just so vibrating so high. I was like, holy, like, gosh this that's is crazy so and i remember buying it thinking wow like that one was powerful yeah it's <laughs> crazy yeah but now I, I love I, it so yeah they've got uh, lots of crystals and stones have different vibrations and mm -hmm. i feel like selenite is one of the highest vibrating crystals Stone. that are out there yeah for yeah. sure mm -hmm. yeah and one day we'll talk about stones uh and crystals and for different sure. uh um, properties on them uses. and and because there uses. are so many that do yes. so many things so oh yeah. I don't even think I've learned them all nope. you know I know there's I have just not. <laughs> no maybe we should bring on a guest um, maybe we should who actually we both know yeah who is really like our crystal lady um, <laughs> yes yeah and yeah, maybe she could her kind of maybe she might be able to give some useful advice on a bunch of different crystals. I think that would For be sure. amazing. We should look so into too. that. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should probably yeah. talk to her about that. But I think she, yeah, that would be so fun. She would, uh, I think she would want to do it. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, we can <laughs> only put know. it out there. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. So, but um, yeah. So um, what else could we talk about on protection? I think that I think we covered as much as what we can talk about. I think that uh, what we should probably talk about next then would be grounding. I think grounding yeah. would be something that uh, we could incorporate with this because then it could yeah. be an everyday practice. 
Totally. Yeah. And I, I, I also, at the start of every day, I do ground, uh, mm -hmm. I do work Me within too. my chakras as well. And I do protect myself. Right. Um, another thing that's just coming in that I, I am hearing from Michael too, is that, um, when you, when you do put your bubble of protection on for the day, um, sometimes when you do go out and about, um, it can, your, your protection layer can weaken. And yes. so you can also ask, you know, Archangel Michael, just to strengthen your auric field for you. If you're starting to, if, if they practice protecting yourself a lot, you'll start to notice when you're really starting to feel things, even though, you know, you protected yourself. Mm -hmm. Those are the times that I'm saying that you could ask Michael to come in and just, if he could strengthen your auric field for you and just strengthen that protection, um, just to build it back up again, because it, it can get weaker as we so, go out and about. So. so would you say that would be like, I feel like a draining feeling when you're feeling a little bit drained or how would you notice if you were, you know, feeling that you need to like a top up, you know, like to pr put yeah. some more protection on, would that be more about when you would feel a little bit uh, more drained? Totally uh, drained or sensitive, just yeah. starting to feel grumpy and just irritated or, you mm -hmm. know, just those feelings where you weren't, just feeling like yourself right. when you start to feel like you're being affected and there's that change within yourself in your energy mm -hmm. that's when it's like your auric field is starting to get a little bit weak right. and so that's where you can ask for that extra protection it's almost like if you think about having high energy for the day if you think yeah. about a gas tank gas tanks full we're running mm -hmm. high energy we've got lots of gas we can go all day long um, but then throughout the day as we're busy it just gets less and less and we can start to feel depleted or really affected right. and we're needing that that extra yeah. top up again and that would be another way that you could just ask for it to be strengthened right. so yeah so yes okay. it can it can get weak and it and there are times that we will even though we do protect ourselves we're still coming home and still carrying some other stuff as well so for sure um i do know that i clear all the time i clear a lot um mm -hmm. just because that does happen to me and yeah. um but rem remembering to ask my goal to help strengthen my org field is something that I'm definitely working on. Yeah. Um, so this is why I continuously do a lot of clearing throughout the day. Um, and even when I go into like bigger shopping centers or stores or anything like that, I definitely am again, doing my grounding and protection before I enter into the place. Um, yes. Oh, so yes. To make sure I'm good. And you know, another way to um, kind of like get rid of that energy is just like, kind of doing like a physical wipe down oh, yes. of the physical body mm -hmm. and um, just wiping it away. It's just like taking it off. Yeah. Um, yeah. I so that's just another that. way to do that. Yeah. yeah I do too I, all yeah. the time. Yeah. I dry brush. I call it dry brushing. And yeah. um, I tell my clients is that to do that too, especially when uh, they are in um, environments that they do absorb energy. Mm -hmm. And it's not just like, like, I, I don't, I guess I shouldn't have said that. Um, it's just that I know that I've worked with other people that, you know, are nurses or paramedics or, you know, um, yeah. police officers, people that work, you know, that absorb mm -hmm. pretty heavy lot of stuff. energy and yeah. uh, heavy mm -hmm. stuff, right? And so yeah. I always tell them to try to remember to either cut the cord or dry brush. I find dry brushing yeah. works um, because then you're just wiping off all of that energy and you're not taking it yeah. home with you. And I always try to recommend that they do it just before they get in their car. And the reason why mm -hmm. I say that is because when they get in their car and they're driving home, they're not thinking about uh, what would like, I mean, maybe they would, are thinking about what stuff is happening at work, but they're thinking about right. getting home and just getting there. They're not worried, you know, they're not worrying about what they've already got on them. And then when they walk into that home, they're carrying all that stuff with them. So if they can right. do it before they get in their car, yeah, then they are cleansed and got rid of that and it stays there and yeah. then they get to their home. Do you totally. hear that? Yeah. It's doing it again. Yeah. That's never happened before. So <laughs> it's definitely some new experiences. I know before yeah. we start recording, we tend to deal with a lot of <laughs> technical issues, energy yes. stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh. So it's a it's amazing yeah, no. that we can get through 
one episode honestly it's so much work for us just to make one episode it's just crazy energetically I would yes. have to say it's yes. nothing really anything else other than that just like oh my gosh okay like can we just get through <laughs> it would just be so much easier yeah but yeah for but sure this time it's like the frequency is like feeding through um our session i wonder if you guys can all hear it we'll have to take a listen after we That'd might have to I, I i take it as a sign i yeah. if you can't hear it but i i know my sister can hear it and i i can hear it and i'm taking it yeah. as a sign that we're talking about something important today and that's something that you guys need to know and and learn so yeah well, for thank sure thank you so much for you know um uh delivering a sign in. yeah <laughs> We love signs, Shelly. Yes, we do. <laughs> I'm sure that's yeah. why they're doing it. Exactly. Yeah, putting so. in that frequency. And, mm -hmm. and you're right, right? It's just like, I feel like a lot of the things that we will talk about are things that I feel so strongly about or divinely guided to share mm -hmm. and put out there just for others to know. There's a lot of things that I do teach as well. And I just think these are such useful tools um, that you can use in your everyday life, just as a human being, being an energy, being around other people. Um, it's just a great tool to use. So, it is. Yeah. 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 Awesome. And uh, one day we might talk about tools too. Oh, for sure. <laughs> we'll talk about all of the things. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, yeah. Awesome. That so, sounds good. Yeah. We so, will end off. Yeah. On our next episode, uh, we are planning to talk about grounding, yes. just to kind of go together with our protection. So, mm -hmm. um, and I do believe that I'm going to guide us through my grounding exercise yes. that anybody can use if they want to, or yes. take that and change it into a way that works for you. So, right. um, so I'm really looking forward to that. That'll be fun. Yes. I love grounding. I yes. do it every day, sometimes a couple times a day. It's great. So. We'll yes, share that I'm next so time. I'm excited yes. because I, I love how Bev, uh, like gives that grounding meditation. It's well, it's like a meditation, oh, thanks. Me, but yeah, <laughs> I, I do love it. So I'm excited myself because I'm probably going to like zone out <laughs> when she does it, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm super excited. So anyway, you. you guys all have a wonderful day day thank you so yes. much for tuning in with us today with the yes, empath sisters you. and we're sending you lots of love and light and gratitude yes. wherever this may find you yes take care bye take everybody care. bye everyone